Good morning students. Yesterday we started the new chapter animals that live near us. In this chapter we read about domestic animals, milk giving animals, egg giving animals and meat giving animals. Today we will continue reading with the benefits that we get from domestic animals. That is wool silk leather and its products and also from which animals do we get these things now open your book page number 30 and let's start reading as the fiber we obtain from plants and animals are known as natural fibers so today we will read about two fibers which we get from animals that is wool and silk so first we will start with the wool the fiber which is obtained from the hair or fur of an animal's body is known as wool so wool is made from hair that grows on sheep's body mainly we get wool from sheep but there are other animals such as mountain goat camel which gives us wool woolen clothes which keep us warm in winters are made from wool people use wool for making blankets sweaters bags etc now the cross question is from where do we get wool answer is we get wool from sheep the second cross question is which other animal gives us wool answer is mountain goat gives us wool other than sheep now we will read about second natural fiber that is silk Silk is a natural protein fiber which we get from silkworm. Now here the question arises how do we get silk from silkworm? The silkworm which rests on mulberry leaves makes a cocoon around itself. First of all underline the word cocoon and write down its meaning. outer covering of an insect now let's have a look on cocoon how does it looks like then that cocoon is put in boiling water to get silk thread and after that from that thread silk products like silk sarees kurtas scarves are made Now let's continue reading about leather. As we all use things made from leather like bags, belts, shoes, jackets, etc. So students, do you know from where do we get the leather? Now we will learn about from where do we get leather. The skin of some animals both wild and domestic is used to make leather snake skin crocodile skin buffalo skin and camel skin are often used now do you think it is right to kill animals for their skin so the answer is no it is not right to kill animals for their skin but if they are naturally dead one can use their skin for making leather now the cross question here is which animal skin help us to get leather answer is snake skin crocodile skin buffalo skin and camel skin help us to get leather so students what we learned today we learned today about natural fibers 
like wool and silk and leather 